Welcome back. Simple truth. We're still talking about Joseph. We're on a bunch of dreams. Let me read verse 8 to you because I'll probably get nowhere other than this. You ready? Uh, so in the morning, his spirit was troubled. He sent and called for all, all the magicians. Now, unlike me, I, I tend to, you know, ex I tend to exaggerate things and say all when it's not really all and, you know, most when it's not really most and nobody likes me, everybody hates me, that kind of thing, right? Uh, never have been the one that wanted to go eat worms, so I don't really understand that say, saying thing. But I'm sure that somebody here at Josh Minis will enlighten you on that whole saying at some point. However, the Bible says all of the magicians were summoned, right, of Egypt and all of its wise men. So we got magicians and we got wise men. There's a differentiation between those two things in my world today. I'd really like to spend time talking about that, but I'm not going to, right? We're going to move on to the next, which is this. Pharaoh told them his dreams, but there was none who could interpret them to Pharaoh. I, I got stuck on that because when you put that into play with all of the magicians, right? And all of the wise men, all the worldly wisdom. And by the way, the magicians at that time, all of the other god wisdom, right? I could say demonic, could say satanic, could say a bunch of stuff in there, but it's not. It's all the little G. It can be that, but it's all the little G wisdom, right? So we've got all the little G stuff that's going on, all the other god stuff that's going on. God, uh, god trumped all of them. So let, let me make this real clear. It's a really good, simple truth. could probably end it right here, right? When God sends dreams, when God's in play, right, there's nobody who can interpret what God is doing other than God. Like, that's just the truth, right? None of man's wisdom, no other God can interpret what God sends to you. Make sure that if you're a Christian, you're following Christ, right? That you understand that because we're constantly looking for man's wisdom to interpret God's things, right? That doesn't go well for us, right? Frequently, we find ourselves in places, right, where, where we should be looking for God's interpretation, God's wisdom. What does God want with this? But instead, we go to men and they say, yeah, 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 this makes sense, right? It, it doesn't make sense necessarily to God. Nobody could interpret what God was doing. You know why? Because there's not a person alive that would have picked Joseph out of that prison to run that country. There's nobody's plan what it would have been to take a prisoner right? And put them in charge of a country. There's nobody who would pick the path for you, probably the path for me, the things that we have, uh, that God, that, that God has in store for us. Nobody would pick that path. God's picked that path. You look in the old Testament, nobody would pick the people that God picked to do the things that God wanted done. And in this case, it's the exact same thing. All of man's wisdom, all of the belief systems of, of, of everybody, nobody would have done it this way. And yet, God had the answer right there, right? When God says, nobody's going to interfere with my plans, he says, nobody can pluck you out of the hand of God, and nobody can undo the plans of God for you. Nobody. Right? So you, you, it doesn't matter what people say. It doesn't matter what people want. It doesn't matter what people think. If God has a plan for you, then God will reveal that plan and it happens. Nobody can stop that from happening. So listen, I'm going to end it right there because I don't think I need a more of a simple truth for today. Listen, don't look to God. Don't look to little g wisdom. Don't look to man's wisdom to interpret godly things. Look to God. It's a novel idea. It's his plan. It's his dream. It's his thought process, his purpose. So maybe he's got the answer for that. Look for that. See you next time. Simple truth.